stars in their eyes. Please welcome your host, Matthew Kelly. Welcome to Stars in the Rise. You know, every year someone says to me, there's always a person on the show I don't recognise. And every year I say, Mom, that's me. <laughs> she never really liked the beard, you know. But people always ask the same questions like, has anyone ever gone through the doors and got lost in the smoke? Well, one of our Liam Gallagher's took a wrong turn and finished up living above the Battersby's. And I'm not <laughs> sure who's worse off. You know, they ask, do any of the real pop stars mind? Of course, they don't. In fact, some of them like it so much they try and get on the show. The times I've caught the real Errol Brown trying to impress us with his sexy thing. <laughs> but the biggest question of all is, how do I get on the show? Easy! You need to be determined, brave and, above all, talented. Something all five of tonight's star guests have in shed loads. And to prove it, here's a Gloucester girl who's no stranger to bowling them over. Star guest number one. <laughs> My name's Angela Browning, I'm 19 years old and I live in Gloucester with my mum and dad, my brother Greg and my part-time cat Tom, who we kind of share with next door and he's always asleep on our sofa. At the moment I'm on gap year, hoping to go to university next year, maybe. don't really know what courses I want to do, so I'm just taking this year out to see where I want to go in life. Living at home with my brother isn't too bad, um, he does live with his girlfriend, but he comes home all the time to bring his iron in and wash in. He does annoy me, as brothers do, but we love each other, really. They smell. I've watched Stars in Their Eyes since about the first episode with Leslie Crowder, and I thought it was brilliant, and I can remember sitting up and watching it on a Saturday night and begging my dad to let me watch it to the end. And um, he'd always, always said, oh, I'm going to reply, I'm going to be on it, I'm going to be so-and-so. He never phoned up and he never replied. So this year, I thought, well, if he's not going to reply, then I'm going to reply before it's too late and I'm really old. The person I'm going to be tonight, I think she's really brilliant and lucky to be in the place that she is so young. How far she's come is really commendable. And I like her music, actually. It's very upbeat, like me. <laughs> And that's the kind of attitude we need to start the show with a bang. Please welcome Angela Browning. <laughs> your experience of uh, singing and music started very, very early in your life, didn't it? Yes. How? Well, my dad used to sing to my mum's stomach when she was pregnant. Oh, what did he sing? A little song that he made up for me and my brother. What was when... it called? The Obly Song. Oh, the Obly Song. Just refresh my memory on that one. <laughs> it's an obly wobbly day today, an obly wobbly day, an obly wobbly obly wobbly obly wobbly day. Everybody's wobbling, wobbling to and fro. Oh, the wobblers wobbling, wobbling down the wobbly road now. <laughs> So, tell us a little bit about the person. Well, she only went to secondary school for a year before she started the Sylvia Young Theatre School. Yeah. And before long, she had to get her own tutor because she was so busy. And she's the youngest number one singer of recent years. That's right. She is. Tell us who you're going to be, Angela. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Billy. Billy! <laughs> if you're known by just one name, you're a star. So, tonight, singing live, Angela Browning is...
to admire you, you know. Mm. How you managed to sing live and do the dance as well. Are you worn out? <laughs> Mentally, emotionally, and physically drained. <laughs> I think so, yeah. And your dad wants to come on next year singing the Obly Wobbly Day song. <laughs> well done. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Angela Browning as Billy! <laughs> We're staying in Gloucester for our next star guest. If you're appearing on this show, you have to be well-groomed to look your best, and that goes for humans too. Confused? All is revealed by star guest number two. He's the one without the stirrups. See you in a minute. My name's David Clifford. I'm 26 years old. I live in Cheltenham. I've got a, a wife, Faraday, and a, a young daughter called Sahela, who's 20 months. We often come down to Faraday's livery yard, where we keep Freddy. The fact that I'm going to be on Stars in the Rise is quite simply one of the most amazing things that's ever happened to me because I never expected to get on. Faraday was really pleased when I managed to get onto the show because the person I'm going to be was her idol when she was a teenager. She didn't have wallpaper on her walls, she had posters of this guy. The fact that I'm going to be dressing up like him and hopefully singing like him was brilliant for her. She thinks that's fantastic. When I go out there tonight and sing this song, the one person it's going to be for more than anybody else is Faraday, without a doubt, because she is the driving force behind everything I do, especially when it comes to singing. She's got more faith in me than anybody I've ever known, and I just hope that I can make her proud tonight by doing a good performance. I can promise the whole family will be proud tonight. Please welcome David Clifford. <laughs> Was it me, or did you mention your wife in that film? <laughs> Maybe once or twice. God, blimey, any more than she might think you're up to something. <laughs> Tell us about the horse. Were you born in the saddle? No, it's the first time I've actually really ever ridden a horse. Is it? You couldn't tell, could you? You couldn't tell at all. So, why? Why was that? Uh, they thought it would make a cool shot. You just did it to look cool, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Leave him! You've entered talent competitions before, haven't you? Oh, yes. You have great experience. I entered one once and it was judged by Jet Harris from The Shadows. Oh, yes. How, uh, how did you do? I got beaten by Appalachian clog dancers. <laughs> well, it's an easy thing to do, isn't it? Tell us a bit about the person that you're going to be tonight. Well, he originally trained as a priest before joining his two friends, Paul Wakatar and Magna Furuhulman, <laughs> to form Norway's biggest selling band of all time. Aha. Uh -huh. Exactly. <laughs> Tell us who you're going to be tonight, David. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Morton Harkett. Morton Harkett! <laughs> Norway's greatest musical export. Tonight, singing live, David Clifford is Martin Harkin.
just sensational. God, try doing that without tight underpants first. <laughs> Say. And uh, just remind me again, who were you doing that for? Faraday. Oh, for your wife. Oh, it was for your wife. Yes, sorry, I didn't. <laughs> but given the choice between horse riding and this, which would you choose? Oh, I love this. This was fantastic. Stick with this. You're very good. Ladies and gentlemen, David Clifford as Morton Harkett. <laughs> Breaking into music is more difficult than breaking into a bank with a toffee hammer, and heaven knows I've tried both. For every pop star, there's a thousand wannabes. That's wannabes, not wallabies. Unless you're the top turn coming up in a couple of minutes, because you don't get many marsupials in the charts, apart from Koala Shaker. <laughs> Backs me up. Backs me up. There's all this nonsense leading to the break, when I'll have more clues to the identity of star guest number three. See you then. Stars in their eyes. In part one, we saw Billy and Morton Harkett. And I was talking about marsupials, wannabes, and wallabies. And believe it or not, that wasn't the first stages of hysteria. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> but it was a clue to the identity of our next star guest. She left down under to come up over, and her new neighbours are the stars either side of her place in the charts. So hie thee hither to a recording studio in Nottingham College in the hands of star guest number three. My name's Lucinda O'Connell, I'm 19 years old and I'm from Brinsley in Nottinghamshire. Right, guys. I live with my mum and dad and they're both retired and soon they're going to be moving to Spain. I'm currently studying at Clarendon College in Nottingham. I'm studying a HNC in popular music production which involves a lot of technical work in the recording studio at Square Centres with my tutor John. He teaches me how to mix down and use samplers and sequences. And we also produce the bands as well. When I got the call to say I was on Stars in the Rise, I was with my mum and dad in the kitchen. And I just could not believe it. I went completely silent. I was in tears and my mum and dad were really proud of me. Every single person my dad sees, he says, oh, I've just got to tell you, love, my daughter's on Stars in the Rise. On the night of the show, I think I'm going to be absolutely petrified. I'm just so thrilled to be given the chance to be on the show that I think it's just going to be the best night of my life. She knows music from behind the scenes, but tonight she's bringing it into the spotlight, and she is Lucinda O'Connell. <laughs> so you're doing music now at college. You've always been involved with music, though, haven't you? Do you play instruments? Yeah, I play the flute. I went to a chip shop when I was uh, about 16. What's that got to do with playing flutes? <laughs> I went and scrubbed the chip shop from top to bottom for £1.50 an hour to save money for my flute. And how much was your flute? Four, £400 I got from it. Really? I did, yeah. God, how many hours is that? Uh, 300... We need Carol Vorderman now, don't we? Is it... <laughs> it's over. 300, 300 hours, is it? Something like that. In a that. chip shop. And then what did you decide to do? Play the piano. <laughs> How much are pianos? A few thousand pounds, I think. <laughs> Just give us a few clues about the person you're going to be. Well, she's originally from Australia, but she now lives in London. Yeah. She dated the friend star, David Schwimmer. Yeah. And the giveaway is that she was in Neighbours for two years, playing the part of Beth. Tell us who you're going to be tonight. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Natalie Imbruglia. Natalie Imbruglia! <laughs> Superstar turned superstar tonight. Singing live, Lucinda O'Connell is Natalie Imbruglia!
think you shouldn't be behind the scenes in the music industry you should be doing it <laughs> you're so <laughs> into this aren't you yeah <laughs> yeah yeah <It's> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen lucinda o'connell as natalie and brulia <laughs> Natalie and Brulia went from soap to grunge, but our next star guest went from King Bee to Spider to Dog to Duke. Here with more clues is a man with talent on tap, star guest number four. My name's Robert Hughes. I'm 40 years of age. I come from Prostatin. I have a wife, Paula, and four children, three boys, and I have a little girl who's just turned one who's called Sadie. I'm a self-employed plumbing and heating engineer. Um, I've been doing it for 25 years now, and people ring you up asking to do all Hi. sorts. Hi. So um, I endeavour to please and come away with the customer smiling. So there's a problem with the tap, is there? Yeah. After my friend suggested I put on a, a tape into a stars in their eyes, I sat down and, and thought, well, why not? I'm 40 this year, and nothing ventured, nothing gained. Any other problems? 20 years ago, I was playing in a, a local pop band, and them days were over once I got married and settled down with the children and then, hey-ho, here comes karaoke and it's nice to be able to show the children if you want to do something, be positive and, and you'll get there. When I first heard I was uh, going to appear on the show, I obviously told my friends and my family first and stepped back and let it sink in for a couple of days and then kept repeating, oh my God, oh my God, what have I done? Right, let's get if there. someone had told me 12 months ago I was going to be doing this, I'd have been mad thinking about it. The wife says it's a midlife crisis, so we've got to get on with it and get it done. A lifesaver, thanks. If you're going to have a midlife crisis, why not do it in front of millions of people? Welcome the man in hot water, Rob Hughes! <laughs> This is the man with the midlife crisis. When did you hit the big 4-0? Just recently. It was last Monday, yeah. yeah oh, Monday congratulations. Just, yeah. And you're sober already? Yes, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You've had a very uh, varied showbiz career, haven't you? Oh, Where yeah. did it start? Yeah. Oh, big time, yeah. Yeah, I was on the fairground. Oh, right. Yeah, on the waltzers, yeah. The waltzer yeah. man. Yeah. Great. And yeah. you do all the spinning and That's things. It. Yeah, they want cool. to, yeah, they want spinning. I'll spin them, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there was a lad there once. He gives a spin, laugh. <laughs> Give it to you, right? And he's enjoying it. Spun him again. More land, more. So I'll give him it again. Spun him again. I didn't realise he was turning blue because I'm colourblind. <laughs> <laughs> now, colourblind is a clue to the person that you're going to be. Tell us That's why. Right, yeah, because this uh, this gentleman's got two different coloured eyes. Yeah. Right. And tell um, us something else. 
Another big clue is he's married to a supermodel. And what's he call himself? He calls, well, he's known as the chameleon of pop. Tell us who you're going to be, Rob. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be David Bowie. David Bowie! <laughs> Goodbye, brother. Hello, space boy. As tonight, singing live, Rob Hughes is David Bowie! Never 40. <laughs> Not a day over 25. That's a sensational transformation, but don't be fooled by that. It was absolutely spot on. The voice, the actions, the movement. Would have been right in saying you're a very big fan. Very big fan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah, I liked him for many a year. Yeah, about yeah. 1973. 74. Well, that was a fabulous tribute. Congratulations. Thanks very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Rob Hughes as David Bowie. <laughs> The village people won't stand, you can't stop the music, but what did they know? A policeman, a sailor, a construction worker, a soldier, and a really disturbing bloke in leather. Sounds like a contestant lineup for Family Fortunes. <laughs> you see, you can stop the music when it's time for a break, like now. We'll be back in just a minute for one last sensational star guest before the vote. Don't miss it. Stars in their eyes. Before the break, I was talking about the village people. And here's the thing there's a policeman, a sailor, a construction worker, and a soldier, all good professions. But what did the bloke in leather do for a living? I can't work it out. So if you know, send us a postcard marked, I know what the bloke in leather does for money. Stars in their eyes, Manchester. Thank you very much. 
Soon, our studio audience will get interactive and cast their votes for tonight's winner, but we've got one more star performer to see. She's from Buckinghamshire, she's star guest number five, but don't be fooled by the obvious clue. Have we got your stuff together, yeah? Yeah. My name's Karen Seaton M. I come from Buckinghamshire. I'm 32 years of age and um, I'm currently an Open University student studying Arts and Humanities. I have a husband, David, who I adore, and a son who's nine, called Samuel. He's uh, obviously the light of my life, but his room is always a mess. Uh, school mornings are a nightmare, getting him ready for school, making sure he has all his books, his pencils, and making sure he's dressed properly for a start. Um, so he gets sorted out and uh, we head off out to school. And uh, once he's safe within the grounds, I head off into my local coffee shop in Aylesbury. Uh, where I sit and ponder my day ahead and uh, sometimes my mum comes through, she passes through um, from work and we have a coffee together. I have approached Stars in Your Eyes before and was unsuccessful but this time I was thrilled when I was asked to um, come for my first audition. I think the most important thing about being on Stars in Your Eyes is having the chance to perform to an audience. Um, I, I shine when I do that. I'm, I'm, quite, I'm quite an introvert person, but once I get on the stage, I, uh, I really enjoy myself, and that's, that's what I really want to do. I want to get out there and make people happy. Uh, I want them to be happy listening to me, and, and that's, that's really what will make my day, actually. So let's really make her day as we welcome Karen Seaton M. <laughs> I want to take you back to your theatrical uh, career. Right, Where yeah. did that start? It started in middle school. Yeah. Um, Whereabouts were you? I, Buckinghamshire. Yes. I was in Buckinghamshire, yeah. Yeah. And it started off there, I was an understudy. I got to be an understudy. What was the name of the for play? For the uh, No One Is Floating Zoo. Oh, no yes. One is floating zoo, and what yeah. were you understudying? I was understudying God. Oh, really? Which was wonderful, fabulous. I thought I'd never get to play that because the, the original God was excellent. Oh, really? But, uh, yeah. <laughs> and I have heard that, yes. actually, yes. <laughs> and um, what happened to the original God? God got sick. Oh, no! God came out in a rash. Oh, no! And I had the chance to play God. It was fabulous. Really? It was absolutely wonderful, yeah. And that really gave you a taste yeah. for it, it, didn't it? I really enjoyed it. OK, Karen, just tell us a bit about the person that you're going to be. Well, she was an original cast member with her production hair. Right, I remember that, yes. yes. And because she's heavily involved in the global peace movement, um, she, she went last year to Vienna uh, and did a peace conference with Kofi Annan. Oh, right. Yes. And she was also asked to, um, to write a tribute song to Nelson Mandela. Fantastic. Tell yeah. us who you're going to be, Karen. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Joan Armour Trading. Joan Armour Trading! <laughs> the classic singer-songwriter. Tonight, singing live, Tennessee Mary, Joan Armour Trading!
That's amazing, isn't it? What you've lost in high heels, you made up in hair. <laughs> You're just I love this wig, it's great. Do you like the yeah, wig? it's nice. I Very love the singing, I'll tell you. You played Thank God you. and Joan Armour trading, and they're yes. both divine. I'm Bless telling you. you, you're fab. Ladies and gentlemen, Karen Seaton M as Joan Armour trading! <laughs> It's nearly that time again, but before our studio audience choose tonight's winner using only the power of their index fingers, let's have a reminder of all five star guests this evening. Angela Browning was teen star Billy. David Clifford was Norway's finest Morton Harkin. Lucinda O'Connell became Oz's newest pop star, Natalie Imbruglia. Rob Hughes was a man who sold the world, David Bowie. And you just saw Karen Seaton M as Joan Armour Trading. Studio audience, cast your votes now. And while our audience are making their minds up, let's find out what our star guests made of their night on star. Like someone else was doing it, and I was watching myself. <laughs> One of these kind of surreal dreams. When the doors go back for the first time, it's extremely nerve wracking because you're walking out into the unknown, but once you're out there and you're singing, it's absolutely brilliant. Oh, I'm just shaking. I'm just sh shaking. I want to do it again. It was just the best thing I've ever done in my life. It's been a testing time for, for all of us, but uh, now we've actually I've, I've done it, and that it's, 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 a, great, it's a great feeling. No, it was wonderful. That's the best. That was the best buzz. Singing, and making people happy. I hope that was my, That's the best buzz. Seeing them smiling. So, who will go through to our live grand final? Will it be Billy, Morton Harkin, Natalie Imbruglia, David Bowie, or Joan Armour Trading? And the winner is Morton Harkin. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, really, really. Well, I think it's fantastic because you said during that film you were going to do this for your wife because she is the big fan of Morton Harkett. Now, she must be thrilled. Oh, look at her there now. Bless her. <laughs> I'm so thrilled. What do you think? And so, the competition was fantastic, wasn't it? Well, that's what I mean. I, uh, for me, and I, I know for everybody there too, it didn't really matter who won because we have just got on so well and everybody was fantastic. Good for you. Good for you. And now, what chance Appalachian clog dancers? None, I fancy. <laughs> when the standard's this high, it's always a tough decision, but our studio audience singled out David as tonight's grand finalist. There'll be five more fabulous star guests next week, but till then, we'll leave you with tonight's winner, David Clifford, as Morton Harkett. Good night.
got the voice, we've got the stage. For details on how you could be walking through those famous doors on the next series of Stars in Their Eyes, phone 0870 400 4000 for an application form or see Teletext on ITV page 351 for more information. <laughs>